suffering from shoulder pain it could be nerve entrapment nerve entrapment occurs when a nerve gets compressed or pinched shoulder pain mainly arises from entrapment of the following nerves the suprascapular nerve the long thoracic nerve and the axillary nerve the patient usually complains of pain that is deep and poorly localized it is felt posteriorly and laterally in the shoulder or refer to the arm neck or upper anterior chest wall the patient also describes shoulder weakness on examination there may be wasting of supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles accompanied by weakness during abduction and external rotation tenderness over the suprascapular notch is also present clinical test includes suprascapular nerve compression test a positive test is indicated by reproduction of pain or weakness in the shoulder clinical features include winging of scapula weakness in lifting the arm above the horizontal position pain or discomfort around the scapula on examination the most striking feature is winging of scapula when pushing against a wall with both hands they may also develop secondary impingement due to poor scapular control clinical test includes scapular assistance test for serratus anterior function axillary nerve compression also known as quadrilateral space syndrome is an uncommon condition caused by compression of the posterior humeral circumflex artery and axillary nerve or one of its major branches in the quadrilateral space clinical features include shoulder weakness numbness and difficulty with overhead activities on examination patient is unable to perform shoulder abduction particularly above 15 to 20 degrees a sensory deficit in the deltoid region and lateral upper arm is also noticed clinical test includes deltoid muscle strength test and the quadrant test or crutchfield sign a positive test is indicated by reproduction of symptoms such as pain tingling or weakness along the distribution of the axillary nerve particularly in the deltoid muscle and lateral aspect of the shoulder